This beautiful grandmother is back to feed her big pet. She pushes the yellow cow forward. The next moment, the cow is swallowed by the big pet. The grandmother is very fond of this big baby. She feeds him a big yellow cow every day. She didn't even care if her husband was eaten by the big baby. But on this very day, her big baby got into trouble behind her back. A detectorist found a large hole at the bottom of the lake. Curiosity led him to approach the hole slowly. He wanted to find out what it was. But before he could investigate, he was attacked. A colleague heard the cries for help and pulled him up. But his colleagues found that he was only half dead. He soon gave up his life. The incident caused an uproar in the area. People didn't know what the creature in the water was. The biologist, Mary, judged from the teeth left on the body. The creature must have been an ancient reptile, but they had to find out what it was. When they arrive at the scene, they find that there is only one family within a 10-mile radius. That's the old lady. When the grandmother was asked what was in the lake, she said what else could be in it but fish. When they couldn't find anything, they had to go and find out for themselves. In the lake, they recovered a nod deer head. It seems that this creature is extremely aggressive. It's not easy to control. So they decided to set up camp here. Then a paleontologist, Bob, arrives. He was intrigued by this mysterious creature. He couldn't wait to get into the lake to find out what it was. First they saw a school of frightened fish, then the creature appeared. Fortunately, the creature didn't attack again. A few of them were able to save their lives, but they were too busy running for their lives. They didn't even get a good look at the creature. Suddenly, they spotted a disgusting image in the grass on the shore. It was a human toe, covered in tiny white worms. Bob surmised that it had been eaten by a crocodile, but the sheriff was skeptical, because this is Maine and alligators have never been seen here before and the climate is not suitable for alligators. But as soon as the words were out of his mouth, a beast emerged from the jungle. This brown bear was about to attack a human. And the next thing you know, it's a disaster. The crowd is stunned. Now it was clear to everyone, the mystery creature was really a crocodile. And it was a giant prehistoric crocodile. As a crocodile lover, Bob would not miss such a precious opportunity to study it. The next day, he and a police officer flew a plane above the lake to observe. When he saw the crocodile's cave, he told the officer to land. He actually wanted to go into the water. He wanted to put the probe in the crocodile's house. Fortunately, after swimming around in the lake, Bob didn't find anything unusual. But just as he was diving out of the water to rest, suddenly he felt a chill run down his back. He slowly turned his head and, oh my god, he came face to face with the giant crocodile less than half a meter away. Bob was instantly scared. The officer sees it and starts the plane. He was about to fire his gun, but Bob stopped him because the bullet would not have penetrated its skin. Instead, it would have provoked it. Bob opened the airbag he had with him. As the crocodile attacked the airbag, he leaps back into the plane. But the crisis isn't over. The next second, the crocodile had a death grip on the plane's landing gear. The crocodile finally gave up. Thanks to a barrage of bullets, the two were able to escape. Meanwhile, a few people on the shore saw an incredible sight on the other side of the lake. The old lady from earlier was walking towards the lake with a cow. Soon the giant crocodile appeared. The blindfolded bull was unaware of his impending doom. Then the old lady shouted, and the cow became a tasty snack for the crocodile. The crowd was shocked. They were puzzled by the old lady's behavior. So the police came to her house again. When the police questioned her, she finally told them the truth. It turned out that the crocodile had been brought to the house six years ago. Her husband had brought it home from a fishing trip. She had kept the crocodile as a pet since then. Later, her husband was eaten by the crocodile in an accident. She didn't call the police and chose to hide everything. She was afraid that the police would kill her big baby. And because of her selfishness and self-interest, this has cost many lives. Now the police have to kill him. But Bob insisted that it be taken alive. After all, it's a rare species, it's even a miracle of nature. But capturing it alive is much more difficult than killing it outright. The most viable option they can think of is to use the crocodile's favorite delicacy, the yellow cow, as bait. They lure it out of the water and then shoot a powerful anesthetic to capture it alive. But would this really work? What is it like to fish with a thousand pound bull? This big bull is being used as bait on the lake. At this point, he doesn't know what's in store for him. The men on the plane watch the lake carefully, but there's no movement in the water until nightfall. Just as the men are about to give up, the radar suddenly gives a warning. The big one has finally appeared. 
everyone goes on the alert. It turns out to be a giant prehistoric crocodile as it creeps closer to the bull. Just as the crocodile rose into the air, a shot of anesthetic hits him in the abdomen. But the plane lost its balance with the force of the shot. Both the crocodile and the plane plunged into the lake. Fortunately, Bob was unhurt. He got out of the cockpit. His teammates told him not to go into the water yet. Because the crocodile could appear at any moment. Bob watched for a while, thinking the crocodile had swum away. But then suddenly there was a loud roar. This sends Bob straight into the water. The sheriff rushed forward and prepared to shoot. But the lake was calm again. Climbing back into the plane, Bob looked closely into the water. When he finally saw the tail of the crocodile, the crocodile was already in front of the sheriff. The men jumped into the car and headed away from the shore. But a bump in the road. Mary accidentally fell out of the car. The crocodile immediately turned around and crawled towards Mary. To save Mary, the group kept shooting at the crocodile. But when the crocodile turned around again, it swung its tail and threw Mary into the water. Mary's screams once again attract the crocodile's attention. It went straight for Mary. Bob tells Mary to swim towards the plane. But the crocodile soon caught up with her. Mary had to dive underwater. Under the cover of a tree root, she was able to get away from the crocodile for a while. As she was about to make her escape, her foot got caught in the root. This gives the crocodile the chance to react. It opened its mouth wide and bit down. Luckily, it did bite into the tree. In the process of shaking, Mary's foot is freed. She swam towards the plane. Bob pulls her up to the plane. But before they can get their breath back, the giant crocodile came from behind. But the force is too much and the crocodile gets stuck in the plane. It struggled for a moment and then suddenly stopped moving. The anesthetic had taken effect. Everyone was relieved. Is this the end? As usual. I don't think so. Sure enough, there's another one in the lake. Luckily the sheriff was a good shot. He shot him in the head. And the one that was anesthetized was taken away by the authorities as a research subject. Is this going to end now? You'll see. You